welcome back to another adventure. Today we're going to be unboxing my new nymphs of my hissing cockroaches. Here they are. The 20 the, uh, hissing cockroaches. Let's, let's move these hissing cockroaches into their new home. As you can see with this nymph, you can already start seeing the coloration on his back. Here he is compared to my finger. Next order of business is releasing all these guys into their new home. Now, I've already released about 10 into their home just to see how they adapt. Let's just place it in here and see how they do. And within seconds, they're all off. Our first cockroach has come to feast. He is now joined by two other hissing cockroaches. While we're here, let me tell you a bit about cockroaches, or hissing cockroaches, as a matter of fact. First of all, with my hissing cockroaches, I'm going to be feeding them a main diet of fruit, vegetables, and these jelly pots. These jelly pots are great for cockroaches or any other kind of uh, crickets or locusts or millipedes because they hold so many nutrients and minerals and one of the main parts moisture moisture is great for any insect or animal however hissing cockroaches don't like to drink from a main water source they prefer to get their moisture and water from food therefore jelly pots are a great way to get a lot of moisture into your hissing cockroaches the temporary home I'm going to be keeping these guys in is simply a small coconut hide I made myself with a very small crack for them to go into and allow them barely any light for security. The next hide is a big coconut hide which I bought from a shop and as you can see it has quite a big opening so I'm not sure how many cockroaches will take a liking to that. Now, my third hide, and I think the most used hide, is going to be the three egg cases. Egg cases are great for keeping cockroaches or crickets or any small insect because they have lots of nooks and crannies for them to explore, as well as providing darkness, but also light in some places. My final thing is a water dish. This is not really needed for cockroaches as they, as I said earlier they get most of their moisture from their food but I like to give my cockroaches a choice just in case they didn't get enough moisture from the food. So I give them a small water dish not too high so they can't drown. Now the enclosure itself is just a plastic tub with lots of air holes at the sides as well as a lid that has many many air holes to prevent fungus from growing because it allows airflow. Then it has a very easily opened lid. This is a temporary home for now as I'll be getting a bigger tub for them at a later date with more hides and other great things for cockroaches. However, they're only very small right now, and as it might seem overcrowded, it won't be like this for long, so do not worry. Now I'm going to talk about where hissing cockroaches actually get their name. Well, surprise surprise, they get their name from hissing. Hissing cockroaches hiss by releasing air out of their abdomen. They can have up to eight holes, four on each side of their abdomen, blowing out air at the same time. 
which causes a hissing sound. Normally, males do it more than females. The main way to tell the difference between a female hissing cockroaches and male hissing cockroaches is simply by looking at their head. Males will have two horns on their head, however, females will just have a flat head plate. Another interesting thing about hissing cockroaches is that one, they're one of the few species that can climb up smooth surfaces like plastic or glass. I also put dog food in with my cockroaches to allow them protein and also dry food. There we go. I have 30 hissing cockroaches in here. So quite a lot. But they are all nymphs. So they're all quite small. But they will grow older. This is one of my smallest hissing cockroaches. And as you can see, not even that much bigger than my fingernail. He's quite thin and he hasn't even got his hissing cockroach colours yet. And as you can see here, he's grooming himself, cleaning his legs and antennae. Cockroaches do this quite often, especially hissing cockroaches. As you can see here, he's cleaning his antennae. They do this to smell better. So they can sense what's going on around them. And that's the end of this video. Please, if you can, like, subscribe and comment. See you on the next adventure.